three, the dew, the champagne, rain, and the storm. Lovely. Okay, so Tracy, I'm being told this is quite a fine yarn. Oh no, here we go. A different item number is the fine. So what's the, I mean, I suppose it says it on the tin, it is finer, but you know. Yes. Well, when I have the yarn made, yeah. it's called a single. Okay. So two of those wrapped together or mm -hmm. plied right. is our fine yarn. Okay. Three of those wrapped together is our medium yarn yeah. and four is our chunky yarn. Got so you. that's how we've got the different widths. And what it does is it just creates a different hang and drape mm -hmm. yep. to the actual finished garment. Okay, lovely. I'm learning loads already. Again, same colour options. We've also got a knitting pattern set. Basically, it's all four of the items that we've seen, but if you just want the patterns and you want to use your own yarn, £15.96, a £4 saving, 234945. Now, if you have got any questions for Tracy, as always, please feel free to send your questions to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Right, I'm excited. What are you going to start with, Tracy? Um, oh, there's so much. <laughs> so, um, what I was thinking was, if we start with the basic, Misty, okay. yeah. Okay, it's just 30 stitches which are cast on mm -hmm. and um, the seam that you sew up is where the thumb goes. Yeah. So if that can be sort of seen. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so it's basically a knit stitch every single row. So that's why it's perfect for new knitters because a lot of people are told to make a scarf. Yeah. And oh how boring you know you, you just, just keep going keep you just going. keep going and then you think oh i'm fed up with this yeah whereas with this it's actually a very small well sort of square rectangle yeah. my friend carrie helen actually designed this That's cool. and um you just keep knitting every row but then when you finish you just sew it up and you can wear it so it's quick yes and it's a lovely way to really get into the swing of making mm. something yeah. and then wearing it because yeah. that is obviously the end goal <laughs> So, if I just show you a basic knit stitch, so you just put the needle into the back or the, 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 the main loop that's on the left needle, and then if you're right handed, you just have the yarn goes between the needles, and then you're bringing that through, and then you just take it off the left needle. So, you've wrapped the yarn around in a very fancy knot yep. and put it in onto the put it what word is that <laughs> that's all right <laughs> <laughs> put it onto the right needle so then again it's just into the stitch with the, the right needle going towards the back and then round through and off so it's just one two three and four now a lot of people are left-handed and they would probably find it easier to use the continental way mm -hmm. of knitting where the yarn is in the left hand. Right. So when you put the needle in in the same way, the yarn is there. Yeah. And you can just bring that through. Oh, all right. So that's just another way of doing it. Yeah. So that's that way. So you can, you can do both ways. That's fab. Yeah, it took a bit of practice, if I'm honest. Yeah. Because <laughs> it um, goes against what's natural to you, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 So... Uh, once you get quicker, it's almost like you're hooking, hooking the yarn gas. through yeah. and then it becomes much, much faster. What size needles do you recommend for this project? For the Misty, it's size five needles. Okay. And, um, I mean, you can see I'm using sort of short needles. Well, I use circular needles for everything. I've not got particularly big hands. And uh, I just find it much, much easier to work with mm -hmm. the smaller needle. And who taught you how to knit? My mother taught me how to knit. My brother and I were um, sort of a dark and stormy night, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't know what to do with us. And she taught us both to knit. And my brother went on to be a designer upholsterer. Oh, brilliant. Mm. In the family. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the, the, the basic knit stitch. Great. And you just do that on every single row. And that's what builds up these ridges mm -hmm. so that you can see here. And it's just literally working for about, I don't know, I think it's about 50 rows. But yep. once it wraps nicely round your own hand, 
So Ozy. pop that on. You see it just sort of wraps nicely around your own wrist and hand mm -hmm. and it's just cosy. And the point is that you keep your pulse point warm yep. and then you don't get cold hands. So um, that's the general idea yep, of, a, the of a wrist warmer. And you can still yep. use your electronic devices because your fingertips are free. That's right. And then when it comes to sewing it up, is that with a needle and thread or do you actually, can you use the yarn? Um, I use the yarn to sew up with. Okay. So um, when you finish your square, you make sure you leave enough to sort of go backwards and forwards along the length three times. Right. And then you've definitely got enough yarn, not just to cast off, mm -hmm. but to, to tie off the end as well to yep. make sure that it doesn't unravel. Lovely. All right. So on screen then, we have got the... Um, Let's we'll recap the colour options that you can get for the wrist warmer. And, of course, you can also make that lovely little turban there. Um, the colour options. And you're getting two balls of yarn, depending on... Uh, no, in each colour option that you want to go for. You have got two balls of your ivory. And, by the way, look how nicely packaged this is. And don't forget, you'll get a little postcard with the picture of Misty on front and a little autobiography, which is jolly marvellous. Right then... Um, so we've got two balls of the ivory, if you want that colour option, two balls of the dew, two balls of the champagne, you'll get two balls of the rain and two balls of the storm in any of those colour options. Full instructions, really clear instructions and beautifully packaged. £21.99. Item number is 769139 and as... Um, Tracy just said this is a real beginner's project it's just your knitting and obviously if you are a beginner there's loads and loads of inspiration on YouTube how to teach you so you can follow along but how nice this is a, it's a nice little lockdown project isn't it I'm liking that uh, as I said 21 pounds and 99 pence a lovely little starter kit 769139 do give us a call 01733602000 or check out on the website at hachanda.com. Next then, we have got the Pearl Alpaca Chelsea Wrapover waist, Waistcoat Kit. Uh, now, we've got different size options for you. On screen, this is the extra small to medium, and that will come with six balls of your chosen colour option of yarn. It is £62.49 with a £5.50 saving. Item number is 795787, and you can spread the cost to payments of £31.25, but look at that design. It's really beautiful. And then the next option is the medium to large. They're all under different item numbers to, just to make it easier um, for setting the system up, if you know what I mean. And then it is £72.49. and pence. You've got the inches on there, £37.4... Uh, £37, sorry, 37 to 40 inches, £72.49. and pence. Or you can spread the cost to payments of £36.25 and pence, or, and your item number is 576 nine one one then we've got the large to extra large <clears throat> and in this one you'll get seven balls of your color option uh oh sorry yeah we'll, we'll just um different item number ah oh, pardon me extra large is eight balls sorry i don't mean to make it confusing i'll try and get this right eight balls of each one and that's 41 to 48 inches large to extra large Two payments of £41 if you do want to spread the cost. Item number is 709645. Now, you can get the yarn on its own. Um, the different colour options. Okay, so this is the medium yarn and it's a 50 gram ball and uh, it's really super soft. It is so super soft, this. Different colour options. Um, and it's 136638. That is your item number. Again, you can get your ivory, the dew, Champagne, rain, and the storm. Then we've got the fine yarn. Uh, again, it's £10.49 with those lovely colour options to choose from. 50 gram ball again, 060467. Now we are really busy for the knitting patterns. If you've already got your own yarn and you want to just make these lovely items, £15.96 for four patterns. That is a really bargain price there. 234 
945. That works out at about £3.99 pence per pattern core. Cool, that's good. Okay, uh, we've had a question. Hello, Elaine. Good evening to you. What would you like to ask? Say that again. Okay, right. Elaine's asking, does the wool pill at all or a lot? It will do a little bit. Yeah. When um, the shearer shears an alpaca, yeah. as the animal is lying there, he'll move the shears along mm -hmm. and then he'll go over the same bit, but there's a slight overlap. Okay. And that's called a second cut. Right. So it's much, much shorter because obviously it's going over where he's already been. Yeah. And whilst I do give it a good shake and try and get it out as much as possible, uh -huh. and during the milling and the processing, there shouldn't be that much, but it's usually the second cuts. It's these short mm -hmm. fibres that start coming out of the, the spin, yeah. the, the way it's been spun, and that's what causes the pilling. Right. So once they've gone, it'll be fine. That's good. I yeah. think that's really good. I know that there's always things that you can get anyway, isn't there? But it should be, but like you said, it should be fine. It, it's better not to use not those to use cutters. That. Okay, yeah. Um, it's better just to use your fingertips oh, and that's just interesting. pluck it. Okay, but shouldn't get too much, as Tracy said. Good stuff. Right, what are you having a look at now? Well, this is Chelsea. Yeah. And she can be worn in different ways. So on the pattern, it's actually as a wraparound, like, like a that. ballet top. Yeah, oh yeah. So uh, that sort of just wraps around like that. Yep. But it can also be worn almost like a cowl yeah, so that like you that. can bring it up. And what you would do is you would just have a little press stud or something at the back so mm -hmm. you can make it as more as a sort of snooty scarfy nice. sort of thing as well. Or I quite liked you when you lifted the one side up and I thought, oh, you could have a brooch there. Well, you could just have it as a sort of hang down and yeah. a sort of brochy type effect. That's nice. Really, yeah. really nice. Um, now, do you need to sit back down again to do your stuff? Or Yes, I was just going to show the moss stitch. Oh, go for it. Yes, yep. there we go. We'll come back to you in a second. Um, so the colour options once more. We can go for the ivory in the Chelsea, the dew, champagne. Rain. Rain is in the lead. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? <laughs> you thought you'd say that. Rain is in the lead. And then you've got your storm. Do have a look on the website for the different size options. They are under um, different item numbers. The one we've got on the screen at the moment is the extra small to medium, which is 28 to 36 inches. Um, 31, two pounds, two payments, sorry, of 31 pounds and 25 pence. 795 at 787 is the item number. There is a pattern for this also at the bottom of the screen. Lovely stuff. It's the, for all those pro, uh, products or items that we've got on the show. Excellent. Again, if you've got any more questions, you can send them into studio at tachanda.com or again onto Facebook because that was a really good one from Elaine. Thanks, Elaine. Uh, okay, let, where do we start then or where are you at? What I'd like to show you is how to do this. Uh, it's called moss stitch. Yep. Yeah. So with, um, uh, it's a knit and a purl stitch. Okay. Now, if you do a knit stitch above a knit stitch, you get a one by one rib. Yep. If you do, uh, sorry, a knit and then a purl and knit and yep. a purl, and you keep those in alignment, you get a one by one rib. Okay. But if you alternate it, you get a moss stitch. Right. So what it looks like is uh, this sort of bobbly effect that's here. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that is basically, I'll move that out the way a moment, it's just literally a knit and a purl stitch. But where you have the bobble towards you, mm -hmm. um, you're going to do a knit stitch so that the bobble goes away from you. And where you have this sort of V-shaped stitch here, that becomes your next purl stitch. So you're alternating where the knot of the yarn goes. Okay. So because the bobble is towards me here, I'm going to do a knit stitch there's probably some really technical term for that. If anyone knows what it is, please tell me. Okay. <laughs> rather than bobble, but you know what I mean. So you do your knit stitch so that the, the knot of this stitch goes to the back. Mm -hmm. And the next one will be a purl stitch. So the yarn is at the front. Yep. And it comes towards you. And then you put the yarn to the back. Yep. And do your knit stitch. And then the yarn comes to the front. And you do your purl stitch. And that is how the moss stitch sort mm -hmm. of comes together and it's just alternating between the two so again if you're left-handed and you want to try the continental way yeah it's uh 
knit. So you're keeping it in the left Pearl. hand. Yeah. Knit. I've probably got a bit of a cat handed way of doing this, but it doesn't matter. Your no, way is as good as anybody else's. Yeah, as long as the end result is something you're pleased with. Then exactly. That's all that and it's always, I think everyone finds their own little way of doing things. And that just builds up row upon row right. so that the end product looks like that. And look at that, that's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's, all, it's got a designer feel to it. Yes. You know, all of these wonderful patterns. Look at that. And it's so soft. The yarn is so soft. So it's something that's really pleasurable to wear. It's also very, very warm. It's not very mm. heavy. That's good. And so you, you forget you're wearing it uh -huh. until you take it off. And then you go, whoa, it's cold out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liking that. We're having another look there at that beautiful wrap over. That's Chelsea. Again, remember there are the different sizes. Uh, you can get the patterns at the bottom of the screen that includes the Chelsea. Or if you want just the Chelsea with the yarn, that is on the side of the screen there. Okay. What would you like to show us next, Tracy? Um, I could show you my little bit of magic. Oh, I'll tell you what then, if you want to get that ready, um, I'll just again do a, a nice little recap here. Now, the busiest item on the show is the headband and the wrist warmers. Nice, um, small uh, projects for you to do. Great for absolute beginners. Comes beautifully wrapped. Now, rain is still in the lead. Now, you're going to get two balls of whichever colour choice you want to go for, but rain, you're liking this one the most. I think it's because it's, it's such a lovely colour, isn't it? It's almost... It's, I don't know, it's like a deep brown, but it's like a warm brown. It's really nice, loving that. So you get two balls of this, obviously full instructions, and you will get your nice little autobiography of Misty at £21.99. And then the other um, options we've got are two balls of the ivory, <coughs> excuse me, two balls of the dew, two balls of the champagne, done the rain, and two balls of your storm. And that is £21.99, 769139. I want to see the magic then, Tracy. Magic, yeah. excellent. Okay, well, um, with an, this only works with natural fibres, but um, when you look at the uh, hair of the alpaca and the merino under a microscope, it's got scales like human hair does. So when you're joining a new ball to an old ball, you, call, uh, you splice it together. So you're okay. basically felting the ends together. So what you do is just undo the end. I've lost that nail. Had, as I say, yesterday was a bit of a tricky day. There we go. So you just <coughs> undo the ply. So you've got two. With the medium, it's a two and a one. Yeah. With the fine, it's a one and a one. And you just cut off one on one side. So okay. say that's the new ball and this is the old ball, you do each end that you're going to join together. Oh, can't do it in my normal way, sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> it's, always, it's always the way on live TV. So, because there's, as long as you end up with the same number of pieces at the end yeah. as you started with by joining the two. So, it's a little bit um, ungainly, but there is a reason it's called spit and splice. <laughs> So you lick your palm okay. and you lay it across your palm. And obviously don't worry everybody at home, nobody else is going to be touching this, so yeah. don't you worry. Yeah, so you just put it together, mm -hmm. just sort of give it a little rub and then rub it. So make sure your hands are warm and it's heat, moisture and friction basically and you just join it together. Wow, that's like, that is magic. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. And you, you give it a little tug and you make sure that it's strong and you carry on knitting. So you've got no ends to sew in when you finish your garment. Yeah. Which I have yet to meet a knitter who says, oh, I love sewing in ends. No. Yeah, you're <laughs> right, actually. I totally agree. Right, I know you're going to get set for the next demonstration. Uh, so we'll just give you a little time to do that, Tracy. Now, if you're just turned, tuned in... Sorry, if you've just tuned in, this is uh, all about Pearl, Al Pearl Alpaca. Um, Tracy's got, I think she said, 39 alpacas. In each little kit that you get, you'll get, this is really sweet, 
a little autobiography because they've all got different names on the different items. Yeah, and the names of the items are from the alpaca names. This one isn't Misty, this one is Chelsea, which you'll see in a moment there. Um, good stuff. Uh, on screen again, just to say this one is the most popular in the rain, and that is £21.99. Um, and you're getting two balls of each colour option, depending on which one you go for. Beautiful packaging. You'll get your little alpaca biography, autobiography, and then you've got the full patterns here. Uh, three, uh, sorry, 769139. Well, I make up item numbers, I swear I do. Next then, we're moving on to Chelsea. This is the wrap over. Now we've got different, if you're just tuning in, we've got different sizes under different item numbers. On screen, you have got the extra small to medium, which is 28 to 36 inches. Uh, for this kit, did we say six balls of yarn? Excellent, for the uh, extra small to medium. Uh, again, colour options, you've got your ivory, six balls of those, or if you're going for the dew, six balls of those. You've got your champagne colour option, your rain, and also your storm. Next then, uh, so on screen is that extra small to medium. Then, then we've got the medium to large option. Then you'll get seven balls of your chosen colour option. And that is 37 to 40 inches. You can spread the cost to payments of 36 pounds and 25 pence. 576911. Or there's the large to extra large. And this time you'll get eight balls of yarn. And that's 41 to 48 inches, 81 pounds and 99 pence, or two payments of 41 pounds, um, 709645. Then we've got the Monroe jumper. Again, this is named after Monroe, who's a beautiful little alpaca that is very, very inquisitive. And she likes looking through the windows. I like that. It's so sweet. Uh, right, we've got on the screen the extra small. That is 28 to 32 inches. Uh, in terms of the amount of yarn you get for the extra small, it is, we're just looking, thank you, six balls there. And again, colour options, you've got your dew, champagne, rain, or the storm this time, not, not one in ivory for this one. Uh, two payments of 31 pounds and 25 pence, 642954. Then we've got our small to medium in this kit. Uh, you get six balls for this. £62.49. Item number is 642954. Did I say I haven't done that yet, have I? Two payments of £31.25. Next is the large. <coughs> Hang on, we'll just get the right details. <laughs> Sorry, it's just because they're all under different item numbers. <laughs> Don't worry. For the large, we've got eight balls, and that is um, 41 to 43 inches. You can spread the cost here. Two payments of 41 pounds, nine, triple three, two, four. And last but not least, we've got the extra large, where you'll get nine balls of your chosen colour. And that's 44 to 48 inches, 91 pounds and 49 pence, with an eight pound saving. And again, you can spread the cost. Two payments of 45 pounds and 75 pence. Item number is 867652. Now, Tracy, I can see you're stood here then at the beautiful jumper. Do you want to talk us through this design? Yes, I do. Um, so, as you can see from the picture on the pattern, yeah. when I designed it, I actually did it with the seam okay. here. But when I wrote the pattern, I've written it in the round. So um, if somebody wants to make it just on straight needles rather than in the round, yeah. just add two stitches as a seam allowance into the uh, cast on row. Yeah. That's all I need to say on that. And then that's your two stitch seam allowance, which will then work. So the way it's done is this is a little honeycomb cable. That's cute. The shaping is done by changing needle size. Ah. So rather than darts, you're going from um, a six for the cable, then mm -hmm. to a five, yeah. then to a four and a half, then to a four, and so on. And then you come back out again. Right. So that just gives it a shape. The idea yeah, is that the jumper uh, skims, doesn't yeah. cling. Okay. So it's very, very flattering. And um, with the shoulders, the actual cast off row is done on this outside rather okay. than the inside so it just gives it a little bit of a feature lovely um we now we've had a question come in mm -hmm. uh, from angela hello good evening angela here we are 
Okay, one second. Which one? The Chelsea? Yeah. Oh, the kits in general, apologies Lottie, are they with the medium or the fine yarn? It depends on what you're making. Right. So everything here is the medium yarn except for this jumper, which is the fine yarn. Ah, great stuff. So jumper is fine, everything else medium. And also she's asking what needles, what size, um, I think you went through it, but can you go through it again? What size needles do you need for the jumper? Uh, for the jumper, I'm pretty sure it's six, uh, five, four and a half, and then four for the yeah. sleeves. Yeah. So basically four, four and a half, five and six okay. millimetres. And I think most people actually have, have a nice range, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, lovely. So I know you're going to um, take a seat, so I'll just do some bits and bobs and then we'll come back to you. <laughs> Thank you for your questions because it's really excellent. You know, send, in, send them into studio at hachanda.com or via Facebook. Yeah, it, I, we just love having your questions. There you go. Okay, next up then, we have got the waistcoat kit. And this is Iago. We've got a picture of Iago. I love it goes, hi, I'm Iago. I just love it. <laughs> I, I will just read this first bit because I like this. Hi, I'm Iago, and although I'm named after Shakespeare's most sinister villain, I'm a bit too happy to be that manipulative and conniving. <laughs> and then again, I'll leave the rest as a surprise for you. Yeah, how could he be manipulative and conniving? No, 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 no. Um, all right, then, let's go through these size options and the colour options. But And have a look. It's a really lovely waistcoat, isn't it? OK, uh, colour options. We have got the ivory, and for the extra small to medium, we are getting nine balls, thanking you. Um, and of course, you get your full pattern there. Uh, two payments of £36.25. and pence. Then your other uh, colour option, put my teeth back in. We've got the dew, we've got the champagne, we've got your rain, oh, so soft, I tell you, and the storm. Item number for the extra small to medium is 215065. Then moving along, we have got the medium to large. And in this one, you get 10 balls of whichever colour option that you want. Medium to large is 37 to 40 inches, £91.49 and pence, or two payments of £45.75, 413708. Then we move on to the large. This time we are getting 10 balls. It's 41 to 43 inches and again includes the pattern and your biography card. Uh, 101 pounds and 99 pence, eight pound saving. Now this time you can spread the cost three ways, try and make it more affordable for you. Three payments of 34 pounds, 216517. Then we move on to the extra large. This time you're gonna get 11 balls of each of either color option that you want. Uh, 112 pounds and 49 pence, eight pound saving. Item number is uh, 373602. Now we have got different yarn options. Uh, now, which one, which one? The jumper's that way. Oh, okay, that, oh, I see, sorry, I misunderstood. Okay, we, we're, what we're doing is we're showing the difference between the fine and the medium. So that is your fine that comes with the Chelsea jumper, no, Monroe jumper, apologies, Monroe jumper, and then that is the medium that comes with all the other kits. Now, um, these are individual balls if you want to go for it that way, and it's 10.49 for any of those colour options, and they're 50 gram balls. Uh, the medium yarn, that's on the side of the screen at 10.49, 136.638, and the fine yarn, if you want to go for that, it's at the bottom of the screen. Again, a 50 gram uh, ball, and it's 10.49, And last but not least, we can show you the patterns on their own, which are an absolute bargain. Yeah, what do we say? It works out about three ninety nine per pattern. That is really good value. Fifteen pounds and ninety six pence for all these different patterns, and it's two three four nine four five. Okay, then. Um, so I'm going to hand it back to you, Tracy. What would you like to show us now? I just wanted to talk about the Iago waistcoat. Okay. And um, if I can just sort of see it in front of me. Yeah. Um, there we go. So. What I wanted to show is the difference between knit and purl stitches. Yes. So this stitch here 
that's on the, the hem is a one by one rib. So that's a knit stitch, a purl stitch, a knit stitch, a purl stitch, where they're all in alignment. Yeah. Then this is where you have knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side. And this is called stocking stitch. Right. So it's, it's a very popular stitch. You see it in the majority of knitwear. And then here is the moss stitch that you de I demonstrated earlier. Mm -hmm. So by having that as sort of a frame, now this is the back. So when you make the back of the Iago waistcoat, yeah. this is the one piece. And where the um, uh, moss stitch starts is where you end your seam. So when you're putting it together, it's a really good way of knowing where to stop for the armhole. Right. And the reason it uses up a lot of yarn is because this front is knitted with two strands together at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it makes this really thick, chunky, cosy, mm. snuggly sort of um, uh, texture yeah. that keeps you really lovely and cosy and warm. And again, you've got your moss stitch up to here. Then you go into the garter stitch, which goes all the way round, as you can see. It's actually one very long rectangle. Yeah. And then you start the moss stitch again, which takes it down. And it's by having these different stitches and textures that when you put it together, although you've only used a knit and a pearl stitching, no shaping or anything else, mm -hmm. it's a really good confidence builder for someone to check their skills or even for an experienced knitter to think, oh, that's cosy, I, yeah. can, I can wear that. And um, mm -hmm. it's a good one to play with. Nice, <laughs> nice, so lovely, isn't it? We've got about um, nine or so minutes. Is there anything else you'd like to show us? Unless anyone would specifically like me to... Oh, I could show you Portuguese pearling. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. What, what, it's quite a new that? thing that I found, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. So, um, if I get this here. Now, a lot of people are quick on the knit stitch. Yeah. But slow on the pearl stitch. Yes, yeah. So, with the Portuguese pearling, you can use a, a pin or... Uh, I don't know, something to attach the yarn to you, or you just put it around the back of your neck. Oh, okay. So your tension is held by the right hand. Yeah. So because the knot is coming towards you, where you put your needle in, you just sort of control it here, and you just flick your thumb, and then push that away. Well, that makes it look easier. So you're just going in, flick, and away, in, flick, and away. So it's just a really quick way. So if you're doing a lot of stocking stitch, uh -huh. I just find this a really good way of doing the reverse side where you're just doing the purl. Oh, yeah, you can get, get into a real flow with that, can't you? You can, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. I don't know if anyone else is, but hey-ho. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's Portuguese purling. Good, isn't it? Yeah, I re it's, it really does get you into a flow. So, um, where would you get started if you were brand brand new? I mean, would you recommend would you recommend watching you know workshops on YouTube and things? Yeah, YouTube has a library of knitting techniques, and um, uh, I would recommend you choose a voice you like listening to. Yeah, because some of them are a little bit twangy yeah. <laughs> does that make sense it does, it does. do you do any videos for people to look at um i have bought the tripod and the phone to do it yes and that's as far as i've got with that <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's one of the th it's on the list put it that way because i think it's um sometimes you you need to see it so that as though you're looking at the needles yes whereas a lot of people they're viewed from over there and you're you can't, looking, yeah, you, can't get, you can't get your head around what absolutely. they're doing. You've got to reverse it. Um, now, for anybody just joining us, can you, yes. again, you know, love to know the history and everything about yourself. Uh, when did you first get alpacas and when did the company Gosh, start? I, I had what I call a bleak period okay. and I was in a pretty bad way. And the word alpaca popped in my head. Right. So um, I thought, OK, so I went online, didn't know what it was, went online, had a look and uh, thought, oh, they're nice. Mm -hmm. So then I drove to visit some people in Wiltshire. Yeah. 
and there was a huge table and everyone was saying, oh, I've been looking at alpacas for 18 months or two years. And I said, oh, these are the first ones I've seen. I've known about them two weeks now. <laughs> you know. yeah. So, uh, and then when I came back to Cambridge here, I popped in to see a lady mm -hmm. and came away owning three. Wow. I don't know how. <laughs> I, at that time, I lived in a two-bedroom flat in Cambridge, didn't even have a window box. Good and me. these are a social herd animal who need grazing. Yes. So I can honestly say I didn't forward plan. Do you <laughs> okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, then I found some grazing. Then I got a job on a farm. And then it sort of grew from there. And then, yeah. of course, you know, you've got girls. And it's like, well, what happens when you put a boy with a girl? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> alpacas are pregnant 11 and a half months. Oh, oh I love It's a really long time. Yeah. Um, and so you have to plan for next year you know, w within this year. Yeah. So because they're pregnant so long, I try and do the mating. So shearing is in May. Yeah. So you don't want it near them because it's not a nice day for mm -hmm. them. They have yeah. 364 good days uh -huh. and one nine minutes that they really don't like. And what's hilarious is after they're sheared, they don't recognise each other. Oh my gosh, so mums will spit at their babies and wow yeah i mean really don't recognize each other wow. and it's quite comical at times yeah. because it's like who are you who are you oh you're my mother right okay I'll, I'll i'll let you say hello you know it's fun um so i usually arrange to have them born about uh, end of june yeah. july but i don't want it to be too late because the baby's got to grow in a thick enough coat yeah. and so have the adults uh -huh. to get them through the winter Amazing. So uh, the worst of the weather is out the way by May. And if it's a hot day, uh, like we have had quite a lot of hot Aprils. We have, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So they love the hose. They dance in the water. <laughs> and they just sort of like, oh, oh. And they're all sort of plonky in yeah. the water. And then it's like, oh, oh, that's nice. And then they walk into the hose. <laughs> and back, then they turn around, lift their tail. It's like the okie koki. They go down <laughs> on their knees. They stretch their neck. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, would you ever think about going into llamas? No. Okay. <laughs> llamas are much, much bigger. Yes, they are. They're not they? as cute. No. And the fibre's not as good. So, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's and the whole idea is to, to make beautiful fibre that you enjoy working with and wearing. Nice. Oh, it's been such a lovely hour. Right, I'm just going to do a few little recaps. We've just got a few minutes left. Now, the knitting patterns on their own. Been very, very busy indeed. At just 15.96, you're getting the pattern for the wrap, the jumper, you've got the waistcoat, and also the lovely turban and glove. Um, well, gloves, you can make two. Uh, that is £15.96. And and just having a little scroll through there, that looks, they all look so cosy and extremely stylish. 234945 is your item number. Then, uh, if you want the fine yarn, and that is for the jumper, that is 10.49 and that is 50 gram balls. Uh, different colour options. Then we've got the medium yarn, and that is in uh, all the different colour options we've mentioned, uh, and that's for all the rest of the other kits we've got on the show. Ten pounds and forty-nine pence, one three six uh, six three eight. But if you'd like some kits then we have got them available for you. This one is the busiest one. It's for complete, complete beginners. You can make the lovely little headband. I think it's so stylish. And your uh, wrist warmers. Each colour option, you're going to get two balls. And that is your ivory. You can go for the dew, the champagne, the rain. Is that still in the lead? Yeah, yeah, it is. Or the storm. And half the stock of the rain has now gone. It comes to you absolutely beautifully wrapped. You'll get that nice little biography card of Misty, because this is Misty's uh, set of items. £21.99, 769.139. Next then, we've got the Chelsea waistcoat. Options for extra small all the way through to extra large, but they are under different item numbers. I know why they've had to do that. It's because each option's got a different amount of... Um, yarn balls in so you have to set it up that way chelsea is just here i'm having a little i can't help but have a little read love this there you are this is Ch this is chelsea there she is she's quite she's quite proud isn't she chelsea? she is they all have delusions of superiority anyway <laughs> so excellent i love that 
Uh, right, colour options then. Um, now, for basically, it's either like six balls or seven balls or eight balls, just depending on... Yeah, yeah. So six um, is for your extra small, which is on screen. You'll get medium to large, which is seven balls. And then large to extra large is eight. And here again are your different colour options, like so. But yeah, rain has been the most popular, I think, throughout. And uh, this is our lovely wrap that you can see on here. Two payments, this is for this small, extra small to um, medium, two payments of £31.25. But go to the website, have a look at all of the other size options that we have got for you. It's been a lovely hour. Thank you very much, Tracy. No, thank you as well. Yep, hopefully we'll see you again really soon. Thank you. Yes, yes I hope so. Yeah. Marvellous. Do check out your baskets. Honestly, the, the yarn is just so beautifully soft. You're going to be able to make the most gorgeous garments that look super, super stylish. And they're going to keep you really, really warm. You can order after the hour, but do go for the kits. They are absolutely beautiful. Right, I will see you tomorrow. we're still going live for the next two hours because Janice is here to take the helm uh, and she's got the one day special uh, Ross Papercraft and then a happy hour where she's singing karaoke. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if